Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Look at the melt there that's increased at Old Faithful. Not a good sign seeing how it's only about 12 degrees and minus zero at night. Yeah, it's really increased. Another thing that I noticed was an earthquake swarm today there at Yellowstone. This is not good. This is an area of a previous eruption when the uh, volcano decided to do its counterclockwise eruption. 23 earthquakes so far today. Looks like the largest was a magnitude 2.3. They also had a 2.0. Remember when they said they, if they started having earthquakes of magnitude 2, they would be concerned. Here's a 2.2, 4.8 kilometers in depth. That would be 2.89 miles below sea level. Um, yeah, very shallow. So we got 2.0, 4.5 kilometers, a 2.2, that makes 2, a 2.0, that makes 3, 2.31, that makes 4, 4 magnitude 2s or greater. IRIS, Jamis' Swarm Program, is not working. The data is not coming in. So we'll use other tools in the toolkit. Here we got thumbnails. This is from um, all the monitors for Yellowstone and the area there. A lot of earthquakes. Look at them all, all marked in red for a little west thumb, which is near, you know, it's part of Yellowstone Lake, Madison River. Notice data is missing. Let me pull this down for you so you can see this other one that's marked in red. Mary Lake. These are significant earthquakes seeing how they're across such a wide area. Lake Butte. Moose Creek, Idaho. Flag Ranch, Wyoming. Borehole 208. Madison River. Teton. Oops, excuse me. Let me bring that back. Teton Pass. Borehole 208, which is the borehole, a very deep well there at Yellowstone Lake. Borehole 944, which is Grant, which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. The borehole for Norris Junction isn't working. Boy, yeah, I don't believe in coincidence. Moose Pond is spelled M-O-O-W. That's the abbreviation for it. Snow King. Now, these are down south and probably on the... Uh, eastern side from Yellowstone Park. The tilt, the deformation for Norris Junction, this is the borehole, goes up until today. Yeah, X is north, Y is east. I've talked about this, how they're measuring the deformation that's going on under the ground besides what's going on the surface. So under the ground, X is north and Y is east. Even though in this location, the if you look at the, the ground itself from standing on the surface, the uplift is going west. Each dot is an earthquake within the last seven days and then the last 30 days. Yeah. Madison River for the last seven days. Top is north, bottom is east. Yeah, we got uplift going on. Uh, trending towards the east under the ground. Last 30 days. The borehole for Yellowstone Lake. Top is north, bottom is east. Each dot is an earthquake. And yeah, I talked about this before. If we got a trend east, it's probably going more so um, southeast a little bit. And then the last 30 days, and we got some dots way outside the disk, and they got it at 5 mic microradians. The borehole for Grant, now again, this is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake, last 7 days. That's a heck of a lot of earthquakes in 7 days. And then the last 30 days. And they have this set at five microradians also. Panther, which is on the border with uh, Wyoming and uh, Montana. 
This is a borehole, borehole 945, trending east. And I talked about the uplift that was going on there. Now there is a fault line, and I talked about the data missing, that extends all the way up from down here by Yellowstone Lake all the way up to um, the Panther area. Someone sent me a, a text message, an email message asking about how these are all connected. You know, Norris Junction, Madison River, Yellowstone Lake. Well, yeah, they got a fault line. And remember when they had the melting of the road, Highway 89, a number of years back? Now, the, the magma, they got two sources of magma that comes up. One comes in from the Snake River Plateau, and the other comes in down south from the Gulf of Mexico. And we got spreading of the magma under the ground, which seems to be trending east. The uplift of the caldera is basically in the north, but the magma is moving under the ground, squeezing its way through the rocks, going east. Another borehole at Norris Junction. This is borehole 950 for the last seven days. And remember, I was telling you how it's just basically trending straight up. Now, if we go down to the last 30 days, yeah, even though it's trending straight up, we still have a slight um, traveling going east under the ground. Here we have an image of Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, it looks like uh, snowing. The static cam of Old Faithful. An image of Mount Washburn. Another image of Mount Washburn. It sure looks like, could be tree cover, but it sure looks like there's a lot of areas that don't have snow on them right now. I really wish I had the uh, spectrograms to show you. Maybe it'll be working tomorrow. But again, you know, these are the trees that are dying off that grew up during the quiet period. And now that Yellowstone has reactivated um, for a coming eruption again one day, hopefully it'll just be a small one. Um, the gases coming up from under the ground are killing off these trees. So that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, that's a lot of earthquakes. 23 earthquakes in just one area. And like I said, this area is significant because this is one of the areas when it unzipped, um, when Yellowstone uh, decided to erupt. This was the last area that erupted before the two calderas collapsed and they had the major eruption. But there's been, what, 20, 40 smaller eruptions since the last major eruption. I'll have to look that up again. And they don't talk about the smaller eruptions. They're hoping there'll be a smaller eruption before the, the next major eruption. My last video was talking about the swarm that was going on here um, at the top of Yellowstone Lake, the uh, northern area. Then there was this other small swarm by Roaring Mountain. Now that was on the 6th. Uh, 13 of them it has listed here in, what, two days. I have started again to put videos on BitChute. Now that's about the uh, novel um, coronavirus that YouTube is censoring. Um, I'm also on Patreon and I'm on Twitter. And I have a PayPal account. Hopefully they don't shut me down again. But just letting you know I'm on BitChute. I'm on uh, Patreon and PayPal. So hopefully the information will be available again tomorrow. Um, the program will be working and I can give you some more information. Please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster so you don't have to go out when everyone else is rushing out to get their supplies. Um, you already have them on hand. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.